we're back. As you can see, first thing I'm gonna point out, my hair is dark, so is mine. <laughs> <laughs> if you go back um, literally one video ago, I had orange hair, she had blonde slash gray orange. hair slash who knows what we, color. We we're going through it. Quarantine, we decided to kind of screw up our hair, <laughs> but we're like, the only way we could kind of fix this issue is if we go dark because we don't trust ourselves with bleach. And this is the first time we've looked alike since, since sophomore year, three years. Three sophomore years. Year of high school. So we're like, as you can tell, we look the same, same earrings, necklace. We both put extensions in because our hair lengths are different. Mine's yeah. a little shorter. Mine. So, but today we decided we're gonna do a video where um, we try to look just like each other, but we're gonna kind of incorporate our normal makeup routine because you guys have been asking us about it. Yeah. Because we know how to pretty much cover our acne pretty well and make it look smooth. Make it look like you're not wearing a lot of makeup when you're wearing a good amount of makeup. Yeah. So we're gonna kind of do our normal routine while also trying to look the same. So if you see us looking over here talking to each other, there's the a mirrors. huge mirror. So. <laughs> That's what anyway, we're, we're gonna do that and then basically this is gonna just be twins look alike for the first time in three years type of video. Um so and yeah, let's get started with our makeup. Should we like answer questions in the middle of it or like we'll what just do we talk, talk about? about? You guys will see. Okay, let's start with our makeup. <laughs> Alright. That look kinda funny. <laughs> we both look kinda Why? funny. We'll just do it, who cares? Okay. okay. I'll start with eyebrows. I do my eyebrows first too though. Okay, so do you want to talk to the camera while I do my eyebrows? Alrighty, so we're in the process of doing our eyebrows. Um, here's the thing. When I do my eyebrows and when I'm doing makeup, it always looks super dark. Mm -hmm. And then when I do the rest of my makeup and then brush the eyebrows out a little bit, it looks more normal. If you guys are wondering so, what we use for our eyebrows, a lot of people are like, what brow pencil do you use? All that kind of stuff. We actually use eyeshadow. We use the Jaclyn Hill palette and we use her second to darkest shade, as you can see. And here. then I mix it with the black a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Um, we just fill it in and then we use our foundation color and we um, clean it up right after. Cause I think that's the one thing most people ask us about is our eyebrows. Yeah. So, um, or lashes. Or our lashes, yeah, which you guys will see everything. But our eyebrows, I would say, are pretty similar. I, didn't clean I don't think yet. so. I think that's what makes us really different. Really? Cause yours kind of arch in the front and then go up. Mine just straightened down. Do you know what I like about my eyebrows? What do you like about your eyebrows that you should tell me? This is like me gassing myself up, but like, I would say they're pretty symmetrical. I think mine are too. I think we both have pretty symmetrical eyebrows. Like, that's the one thing about myself where I'm like, oh, you actually okay. did something right with your life, yeah. you know? Also, um, I have been doing self tan as you guys have seen in our videos. So I've been using a darker foundation shade, but when I clean up my eyebrows, I use my lighter foundation shade because that kind of really like highlights. And the foundation we use, um, which I, is the only foundation I've ever used since I started doing makeup, is Maybelline. Um, what's it called? Super Stay. The best thing existing. We use the shade. It lasts all day. It's super full coverage. Works really good. And I feel like it's the one foundation I've never broken out from. Honestly, after quarantine, you know what I actually learned? Hmm. Makeup is not the reason for my breakouts. Sorry, you're not yeah. gonna see me for one second, but yeah, definitely makeup is not the reason for my breakouts because for the days that I haven't been wearing makeup, I still have broken out. Me too. So it's because I think right now, as at least it's because I have not been getting enough sunlight. Yeah. Me or too. drinking enough water because of fasting. You know what's annoying? I got this little pimple right there. Are we ready for a foundation? I think so. Let's go. <gasps> Ew! Ew, oh my God. Sometimes there are moments where I really see myself in you and I'm like, this is just I don't disturbing. think we look that sick. Like if we were one person, how would we look? Like what features would we have? As a one person. I your jawline. I know. Just kidding. I hope we take your symmetricality. I'm just gonna mention, as you guys know, um, if you watched our last video, we are redoing our room and we're gonna have like a two part series on our channel about it. Right. Like you're gonna see us painting, buying new things, like everything. So um, stay tuned for that. It's really exciting. It's currently not done yet. So as you can see, our room is pretty empty. Empty, <laughs> yeah, nothing on the walls. But it's gonna be really exciting when you guys see it. Foundation is that one thing that I hate doing. Just I just like, so long. It just takes forever to blend out if you want it to look good. Am I gonna blend it down to my neck today? <laughs> I'm just There's part of me that's just like, you're wearing a sweatshirt. Who's gonna see? And you're on camera, it might not pick it up. And if it does, you win some, you lose some. Oh, I hate doing my forehead, especially when my hair's down. I feel like my, I feel like I just don't have enough room. Like my, I have a big forehead, but why do I not have enough room to do it? Do you know that. what I mean? I felt that in a way. I don't really think we have big foreheads. To be honest with you, like maybe mine got smaller, but I used to have a pretty one, big one. I think the way you um, position your baby hairs make it look smaller. Smaller? Or bigger, yeah. smaller. Oh, thanks. 
appreciate it. I think yours is a little lighter than mine. Hair color? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I know this a little bit. Oh, dang it. I think I'm gonna dye it again. You do. <gasps> oh, yeah. This is weird, but this morning I woke up. Um, We filmed a ticket. A a ticket? <laughs> a TikTok um, yesterday, and it was like the wipe it down challenge. We'll enter the clip over here. Wipe. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Yeah, we posted that and um, I woke up this morning and it, like it did pretty well on our TikTok page And I was getting comments saying you made a Talbini news and I was like, what what does that mean? So I asked someone in the comments like oh like what do you mean like like where is it? And they told me where it was and it was uh, what's it called like top channel I top think, channel which is, like, Albania. The most famous like I don't even know. Yeah, so I decided to search it on YouTube and it was like oh posted like 20 minutes ago and I was like what? So turns out like our TikTok was used on the Albanian news um and my mom was super happy about it because I told her this morning. She's like, she was like, she's like calling, calling our friends. friends. And she told my dad, she's like, they're, they're, look at them. They're on the news for like Albania. Like, what? And like, <laughs> it's funny. such a fun thing to get excited about. Also, if you guys want to see more from us besides like YouTube, we do post a lot on TikTok, like I said. Um, so definitely check out our TikTok. It's just me on sure. Twins. And as well as our Instagrams, which will be down below. Um, trying to up our fashion game. Yeah, and if you guys are going to buy our merch, or if you know that we have merch, it's meontwins.com. If you uh, post on it, if you post in it on Instagram, we will repost you on our stories saying that, you know, you are supporting us and that and we, we love, love you. So that's about that. Powder time. I use I do. Okay, so we both do powder pretty differently, actually. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Lend. True. True. True Blend. It's <laughs> a true. <laughs> we both do kids. True blend things. minerals. The shade 600, which is banana. I'll be using the same thing, but this one uses a brush. Um, when I do my baking, I only do it under my eyes and my jawline. Um, and then I use the rest of the powder just with a little brush and I go around my whole face. The thing is about my skin is I used to have very dry skin, but now that my products that I use don't really dry my skin out, I don't really have to worry about that too much. So, um, something. I was saying something important, but you ruined it. So. Sorry. Not really, I don't really care. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Let's talk about embarrassing stories. Embarrassing stories as twins. As twins? As twins or just in general? Oh, I'm so Freshman year of high school. The kid that was in my uh, government, not government. What was it? Global class? Okay, so freshman year. <laughs> we had different global classes. And the one that I had, like whatever, we had different kids obviously. I don't know why I'm trying to explain that. But there's this one kid that was in my class. It was really nice. Well, I think we were in the same group or something. Super sweet, really smart kid. And I'll never forget, like I used to always notice he was kind of looking at me in class, but I never thought anything of it. So I was like, whatever. Um, so one day we were leaving school and when we leave school, we both know each other's last classes, like the rooms. So we meet up like yeah. in the middle and then we walk down together to go to our bus. So when we were walking down and we finally got outside. It was outside, like, yeah. It was right where you leave. That little area, yeah. yeah. So it's like this little area that's in front of the school, like before the gate. And we're standing there and this kid runs up to Aisha with his friend. The, the, oh, it was with his friend! It was his friend that said it. Oh, can you explain the rest? I don't really remember. So his, it was him and his friend and his friend comes up to me. Well, they both come up to me. And his friend's more forward than him. So he like comes up to me and he goes, hey, I know this is random. My friend just wanted to say he thinks you're cute. And I look over at his friend and I just like smile and I walk away and I'm like, oh, so I don't even know him. She looks back, she goes, oh my God, he's in my class. <laughs> so he's talking about me, not Aisha. And I feel so bad because he didn't know that it was Aisha. And now he thinks that the whole time it was like an awkward thing between me and him, but it wasn't because I don't really know him. And like, he never Do said anything Do you want to know what's funny? It was the first day of freshman year. I already know what you're going to say. Like a living environment. Yeah, everything. Yeah. So there is this one kid. Um, so basically, you guys know in high school, you have different classes, I mean different periods with different kids, like every class is like with a bunch of different kids, but you could have this, like some of you like same kids, but usually the class is pretty different. So my second, her first period of class was living environment, right? So um, whatever, she, we were still getting used she to like all class. the kids in our classes. So we kind of had a general idea of like how people look, but we didn't really know them, you know what I mean? So I think it was like the first week, maybe a couple days in. I think it was like the third day. Maybe the third day, yeah. And I mean, people were still finding out that we were twins because like obviously high school is different from the kids in your middle school and everyone in middle school knew that we were twins, but most kids in high school didn't because, you know, they came or from other know. middle schools. So basically, um, this kid in Oswald's living environment class knew her and had a conversation with her like about something. 
Uh, I guess the day before. Yeah, I think we sat next to each other. Like we were just like talking about the class or whatever. And I guess they um he wanted to ask her a question. Um, and he assumed that I was in that Ozer was okay. It's hard to explain. Basically, this kid was in Ozer's first period class, but he was in my second period class. And I think he thought we were the same person. So in second period, um, he came up to me. And he goes, hey, um, I know this is super no, random, he but came did up to me have during first period? No, he came up to, he did it both times. I, oh, okay. Because he came up to, I think he wanted us, I think he did it as a joke twice. Yeah, me too, I think so. He came up to me and he goes, um, did we have living environment homework? And I was like, I looked at him, I was like, wait, what do you mean? He's like, he's like, they just didn't miss blank assign anything. And I was like, I don't have miss blank for living environment. He's like, what are you talking about? You're in my first period class. I'm like, First period, I have social studies, like, I have history, I have traveling environment. And I was like, and then I looked at him, I was like, oh, he's like, I'm really confused. I'm like, I got a twin sister. And he started bugging out. He's like, oh my god. She was like, all surprised, yo, you know she's a twin. He started running around the class, like, bro, that's a twin. Like, that girl in your class, like, that might not be her in the other class. And it was just so, so funny. So he came up to me during first period, because we couldn't go inside the classroom until the teacher was in the room, so we had to wait in the hallway. So we're waiting for my teacher to arrive to first period, so we're standing there, like, whatever. He comes up to me, he goes, Yo, did we have any um Miss Blah 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 homework? I was like, I don't have I don't have Miss Blah 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 for math. He goes, so you're not in my second period. I was like, second period, I'm Spanish. <laughs> so I think he goes, yo, yeah. like, I tell the whole class she's a twin. Someone goes, wait a minute, and then everyone starts figuring, figuring things out. Like I'm not in this class of theirs, but I am in this one. So like, they're all getting messed up or whatever. Yeah, it was funny because I actually had a crush on this one kid. Who? In um, wait who? Okay. So I had a crush on this one kid, right? And this was sophomore year. And people, some people still didn't know we were twins because you have new kids every single year in your class. And our school had like 5,000 kids in it. So- a huge school. Yeah, so basically, um, this kid was in my uh, math class. And the thing is, he was also in a class that we had together. I, if, I can't say too much because this person can find out, but whatever, it's over now, like, it's not that serious. But basically, this kid um, was in both of our classes and then he, so he knew we were twins and that next uh, period he was in my math class. But one time I think I think he had like a slight crush on me, like I could be wrong, but I think he did based on like the way this kid acted. But every single time he'd talk to me, he would say, hey, or hey you, <laughs> instead of saying my name. So one time I was like, you know what, I'm over it. Like this kid never says my name. It's he like, just, he, he knows, know who, mm -hmm. he knows who I am, but he doesn't know which, which name twin. goes with which face, face, I guess. So one time he feels me, he's like, hey, I'm like, I'm like, I got a question for you. He's like, what? I'm like, I feel like you don't know which one I am. <laughs> and I was, he's like, why do you say that? I'm like, because you never say my name. You always say, hey, you. He goes, can I be honest with you? I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's 100% the reason. I was like, wow, everyone's honestly just fake. And like, I just think that's like an easy way out for everyone. It's just by saying like, hey, yeah. and not having like to say your name out loud, you know? Yep. And also in our high school, um, we never had the same exact schedule in terms of our classes until senior year, which is when we had every the exact class. same like schedule, whatever. So we couldn't switch classes on April Fools. But every year from freshman to junior year, we'd switch classes, like not the whole day because we had a few together. Yeah. So like two or three classes where we don't think teachers would find out, we would do it to them and they never caught on. Do you know what's funny though? Senior just like year, we just sat in each other's seats. Like she sat behind me in most classes. So I, she would just raise her hand for like my name being called and stuff like that. But obviously the teachers didn't care because we were in the same class. But um, at the time, our, even now our professors in college never even say anything. They were twins. Oh yeah, because I don't know if you guys know this, but we take every single class the same because we are in the same major. And at FIT, you have to um, go into the, you can't go undecided um, into the school. So obviously we have to take all the same courses and it's just convenient to be in the same class because we're taking in terms of like stuff. commuting and stuff like that, it's just it's just easy, you know what I mean? And plus we're like into the same stuff, so. Oh, if you guys wanna know what contour we use, we use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in, uh, it's a powder bronzer in this shade Saddle. This is what it looks I like. I live by that, so good. I used to use Hula bronzer for a bit, but I, don't I think it was break out. Or I think or the color off about the shade. Maybe. I don't know, but. Something you have to learn about nose contour, which I'm still not like amazing at it, but. Sorry, the camera shut off. What I was saying was the one thing about nose contour that you have to be like, aware of um is when you're doing it you have to blend it to your eyebrow or like the crease yes, of your eyebrow. i've been doing look you see because it? that just makes it so much more cleaner real looking does that even make sense oh my god and i started this new show i don't know why i just randomly thought of this because i think i asked you guys on instagram to suggest me new netflix shows and i watched outer banks so Incredible. good it's such a really good, show. good then it was really crazy i feel like they could have ended it better but you think so no but at the same time like i wish they did but they couldn't have ended it better would they right. uh, you know what though? Sometimes it's good to end shows like on not such a good note because that just makes you want another season and it makes them most likely get And they left season. it to the point where I think you can have another season. Really? Or you can't at the same time. 
So they can go either way about it. Which is, do you think they're cool. going to? Mm, I hope they do, actually. I would like another season of that. It would be really good. Pretty crazy. See, this is what I, I do my nose contour, so it can be snatched. I'm gonna let that sit there while I do my blush. Did you do blush yet? I did not do blush yet. I'm gonna do eyeshadow. We shot. use. I use any blush. I just don't think there's. I feel like with my skin tone, I don't really look for a specific shade. I feel like if I was more pale, I'd be more aware of what Me shade too. I'm using. But this is just the True Match uh, blush in Rosy Outlook. Stop. You always turn, turn your face, close your mouth, don't smile. You can't smile. I'm fixing Yes! You never fix it! <laughs> Put the powder on the brush! Brush? It's actually a beauty blender. It's just my lips are so blumptuous, it creases. Wait, <laughs> it's <laughs> Good. Let it sit there. Do I have, I have a crease here. You always from my nose there. I just smile. You know what? I'm a very happy person. Wait, give me that. You know what the one problem with both of our makeups also? We get really oily right over here in the center of our forehead and we never fix it. I don't care to. No, you're gonna fix it today. So um, in terms of eyeshadow, we use, again, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just gonna point to the colors so you guys have an idea. It's this one right here, mm -hmm. and then the one right above it, and then sometimes I'll mix it with a darker shade. Yeah, me too. And I always put a color on my eyelid and then the same color as I put in the crease because I like when my eyelids are kind of dark. Maybe I notice it looks weird when I don't do that. Like I notice my eyelids look really weird when my eyelids are like white or like, Skin color. I think it's because like it makes my eyes look smaller. Like, like also because we both have hooded eyelids, it looks kind of funny. Take a breath. Don't tilt it. Bro, that is just rude. Stop. Also stop. Aisha. I wish you guys saw how many times we fight in YouTube videos, but we have to cut out like half, like minutes. four or five minutes of footage because we're angry at <laughs> each other, then we fake being happy. And then we leave the camera running at the end because we're still fighting, and then it runs for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I mean, we waste so much Because then when we're editing, we're like, why is there so much footage? We're like, it's like literally three and a half hours, and then we have to cut out half an hour of it because we're fighting, fighting in it. Because after we finish videos, we literally just like, oh, and, and we, we leave. We like go like this sometimes, go on our phone. <laughs> <laughs> and the camera's still there. It's yeah. the funny thing. I wish we made like a compilation of I that. I know, we should have kept our bloopers because we had a lot. We really did. I should have saved those. What's wrong with me? What's the name of you? you? Hey, got a no respect. Hey, what do you think of you do? Hey, it's a not so bad. It's a nicer place. Ah, shut up, buddy, okay? Why do I know that? Oh, okay, so Italian. we're going to talk about something. What's that? We began watching um, Love Island. Love Island UK, and we went back to season five because our sisters kept hyping it up and they were like, you gotta Molly, see Molly and Tommy. Tommy. And I'm like, oh, I am now obsessed with that. I, I am literally a Tommy Fury. I don't think anyone understands how much Molly has impacted my life in such a short amount of time. My I in look terms up of fashion. Her, yeah, in terms of fashion, that's what I mean. Like, I shop now thinking like, would Molly wear this? Okay, you know why? She, no, no, not even that. She is a fa my fashion son. She does. Even on her Instagram, like, if that's an outfit I've ever seen. And like, she's outfit. pretty modest. Like. Obviously, she's gonna wear wear stuff that we're not personally comfortable wearing, but a lot of her clothes are very modest. You know what I mean? I appreciate like, that. And I appreciate that, like, effort. effort. If you guys know, if you guys have spring allergies, you'll know that if you just touch your eye, like, a certain way, sneezing. And that's why I probably sound really nasally. You should have seen my face this morning. It was swollen like a balloon. It was last night, too. You saw that, right? Yeah. So you told me to look at it, and I was like, whoa. That's one thing that we, different about us that I got blessed with. I don't, I would say I have a pretty strong immune system. Oscar gets sick very often and mm -hmm. has and I have allergies and I, food allergies, but I don't. I have spring allergies, like really bad, like pollen, like no, I get that away from me. Trees, I'm allergic to oak trees, like six different trees. I don't remember exactly what the doctor told me. She just said you're allergic to trees basically, like a lot of them. Um, highly allergic to cats and dogs. And I do have a cat. But she's hypoallergenic, so I'm not as Apparently that's not a thing, but I think it is because it's not as bad with her because her fur is not as thick, I don't think. So but if I get really close to her and like I'll pet her and like my head is next to her, then I'll start right getting allergy symptoms. But if I like keep my distance, I'm fine. But um what else? I also have dog allergies, really bad with dogs. And I have yeah, yours hazelnut allergy, so I can't have Nutella. Sometimes I'll have it and I'll regret it. After. I don't have any allergies. Yeah. I should got lucky. My eyebrows are so different. 
My makeup is exactly the same right now. <gasps> you can tell a lot of difference in her face. It's my eyes. The eyes, what else? Lips. My nose is just a little bigger. Your face is bigger than mine. Look at your jaw, look how much wider it is. Okay. Mascara time. This is something we get questions about Constantly. every single day of our life. We use the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. We do not curl our lashes. Our, our lashes are completely natural. We don't use fake lashes either. And they are pretty long. This stuff so. is magic. We used to use an eyelash curler, but I noticed that my, my mascara eyelash. begins to rely on that to keep it curled. So now I use the brush to build it so it stays up. If that makes sense. Like, I don't know do if that, that. makes sense, but. Okay, we both finished our makeup, and now we're gonna put the lipstick on. So we're not exactly finished, but um, so far it's looking <laughs> pretty similar. Very yeah, we look so alike. So weird. So um, gonna use this one. I'm gonna put chapstick on first. The lipstick I'm using is um, Lolita favorite color, which is by Kat Von D. You look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? This is tripping me out. Is it really? <laughs> Okay, so wait, before we, like, my extensions I look horrible because my hair is super short, so it looks bad and I already know, so don't comment that. But this we look very much alike. Very much alike. Let's turn this side. Front. Front. <laughs> side. No, I don't like the side of my face. I don't like that side either. <laughs> anyway, um, um, that's it for this video. Let us know if you guys think we look more alike to you or can you still tell the difference? Because I know a lot of people, like after I dad, they're like, oh my god, I cannot. I have genuinely have no idea who is who. And there are people that like, if anything, I could tell you more apart now because I'm looking at your face structure. Yeah. Let us know our faces what you guys are very different. Think. Yeah. So. But um, that's it for this one. Um, post notifications are gonna be on the screen. Thank you guys for having your post notifications on. It means a lot. And if you guys want one, just make sure that you subscribe to us and you ring the little bell. Um, I think that's it for this one, and we'll see you in our next video. Yeah, for sure. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.